Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I will be sharing five actual hidden features for iOS 11 running on an iPhone 7 Plus. But of course, these features apply equally to the iPhone 7, 6S Plus, 6S, SE, and more. Anyway, let's dive in and start discovering. So the first hidden trick is the feature where you can actually record the screen of your iPhone as long as you add the screen record button into the new uh, control center. So just so you know, the control center on iOS 11 is in fact customizable. So let me show you how to do that really quick. Uh, if you go into the settings, and if you scroll down to control center, and if you tap on this, so as you can see on the top here, you have the included ones, so you can include all these, uh, or you can remove them. If you tap this, it's gonna remove the flashlight if you tap that button. So if I click remove, and if I go back into the control center, the flashlight is gone, which was right over here, okay? So let me just enable that really quick, and then I'm gonna show you how to add the screen record feature. So that's, as you can see, the flashlight is right back here, and that's gonna allow you to change the flashlight settings. But if you scroll down over here, uh, there's a new thing here that says screen recording. So if you tap this, it's gonna add the screen recording button into the control center, which allows you to start to record the screen. So right now, when the button turns red, the screen of this iPhone is currently being recorded. On the top it says recording, it tells you how long it is recording for and all that good stuff. And if you wanna stop recording it, you just bring that back up, tap it, and the recording is complete. Gives you a quick notification saying screen recording video saved to photos. So if you do wanna access that screen recording, you'll go back into the photos and it's right over here. And you can play this and it's gonna basically play everything that I just recorded absolutely fantastic let's get out of here for a minute and move on to the next hidden feature so if you go into the iMessages and if you are trying to send a text message to somebody as you know you can choose a bunch of effects uh, from this button if you 3d touch on this thing and scroll over uh, to screen effects not scroll over just tap on screen these are the screen effects so as you can see Apple added two more screen effects uh, first one is send with echo, which is this uh, uh, effect right here. And if you scroll over, which is actually my favorite now, this is the one that says send with spotlight. Okay, so that's, that's exactly the effect you're going to be getting. All right, let's move on to the next hidden feature. All right, so the next uh, hidden feature has to do with a screenshot. So normally if you want to take a screenshot on your phone, all you do is press the home button and the power button at the same time, or you can use the assistive touch that I enabled, but that's not the hidden feature. The hidden feature is what happens after you take a screenshot. So let me use assistive touch uh, to take a screenshot, and after the phone takes a screenshot, this is exactly what happens. It takes a screenshot, and then it minimizes that screenshot to the side of the window, and then you can go and you can tap on it. If you wait too long, it goes away, but I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. Once you take the screenshot, uh, let's do that one more time. You can tap on that screenshot, and then this is gonna allow you to actually mark up that screenshot before you save it. And if you don't wanna save it, when you click done, you have two options. Uh, you can either delete the screenshot or save it to photos. But again, you can mark this thing up with the, uh, the pencil tool or the, you know, the, this tool right here. Uh, you can delete stuff that you don't want, all that good stuff. You can change the color of the pencil. Let's go back here. So as you can see, you can mark up the photos and then you can click save and it's saved into your photos. So you can actually modify screenshots. Now this one has to do with the keyboard. If you go into messages, let's just use this as an example. Uh, let me go back from here, uh, right here. So we're typing on the keyboard, which you could do, especially if you have an iPhone 7 Plus because it's a larger phone. Uh, you can tap and hold on this world icon and that's gonna bring up a menu that allows you to left justify or right justify that keyboard. So if you left justify it, it's gonna become justified to left, and this allows you to actually use your thumb and type any kind of message using one hand only. When the keyboard is full screen, it's a little hard to reach the end if you have little fingers. So if you have little fingers, uh, you can left justify it, or you can right just, by tapping this arrow, you can send it to, you can maximize it, and then press this again, and if you press this, it's gonna be right justified. So it really doesn't matter which hand you're holding your phone with. Another great little feature. The final hidden feature has to do with Siri. So normally what you do is you press and hold, 
and Siri comes up and then you talk to Siri. Now sometimes you want to type into Siri instead of talking to Siri and that option is now enabled. Instead of actually talking to it, you can type to it. So let me show you how that looks like. Let's press and hold. And as you can see, it's not allowing me to talk. It can, I can actually just uh, write into it. So I can say define and click done. And as that's gonna, means. And that's gonna perform the same function as if I talk to it. And of course, I wanna let you guys know how to enable this feature if you desire to use it. So let's go back into settings. Uh, go back into accessibility. It's actually, uh, you go through it through general. So this is the main setting screen. You go to general, you scroll down to accessibility, and then you scroll down to where it says Siri, and then you can enable type to Siri function, okay? Now, if you wanna talk into Siri, you disable that, and now it's business as usual. If you want, you can just talk into it. All right, so those were the five hidden features for the iOS 11 running on an iPhone 7 Plus or an iPhone 7. If you guys have any other features that you know of, just drop them down below for other people to view. And uh, make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and check out my other iOS 11 videos where I go in depth of the newest features available. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and have a fantastic day, guys.